Tell me if this has ever happened to you. You're watching Selling Sunset or maybe Million Dollar Listing LA or New York, or maybe Love It or List It. And you're sitting there thinking to yourself, these real estate agents are not that smart and they're making that much money. And I don't blame you. I think the same things when I'm watching these shows. And even though, let's be honest, right? Selling Sunset has nothing to do with real estate. It's just reality and drama. I think the million dollar listing shows do the best job at showing maybe what the industry actually is. But even that, there's a whole bunch of things going on around it just to create entertainment, which isn't true. And they're negotiating these million dollar transactions on their phone, on the patio somewhere. And you're like, I could do that. And these people make that much money. And the truth behind it is that being a real estate agent is actually not very glamorous, but that wouldn't be a TV show that anybody would watch. So what I want to talk to you about in this video is show you what the average real estate agent in Canada makes. And just before I go any further, don't cheat, okay? Pause this video, go into the comments, and you tell me what do you think the average real estate agent makes per year in Canada? My name is Tom Story. I'm the team leader of the Story team here in the city of Toronto, and I've actually interviewed for one of these reality shows before, and I didn't get picked, and I think the reason why is that my actual day-to-day -day is pretty damn boring. If you enjoy this video, all I ask is you hit that like button. It really helps the channel. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe if you like this type of content. If you're someone looking to get into the market or get out of the market for whatever reason, we've also made it as simple as possible. You can go into the first link in the description and book a call with me at a time that works for you. Now let's get to the topic at hand. The average real estate agent in Canada, what are they making? We have seen home prices accelerate in Canada over the last decade. But that also means a lot more people have come into the industry, right? So there's more competition in terms of who's actually getting the sales done. And the rule's pretty much always been that 25% of the industry is actually doing 75% of the transactions. And at least for my market here in Toronto, the last stat that I saw said that only one out of every three realtors is actually doing this full time. This is not a career you're going to be successful at if you're testing it out over the weekends or doing it at nights and evenings. So if you're thinking about becoming a real estate agent, you have to jump into the pool. You have to cannonball into the pool. There's no dipping your foot in and seeing what the water is like. You got to go all in. Okay, so let's find out what the average realtor in Canada is actually making. A few things just before we go into the salary. Um, also that we are independent contractors, right? So we work for real estate brokerages, but they do not pay us anything. So basically I'm unemployed until a client hires me. Uh, so there is no base salary. So what we should know is that the median salary of a real estate agent in Canada is $46,212. Most real estate agents do between one and zero sales per year. And I think the reason why that is the case is because two thirds of the industry or people that have a real estate license are not actively waking up trying to sell homes every day. And that's going to skew this data as well. So just keep that in mind. In Canada, only the top 10% of agents make more than 10 sales a year. In the city of Toronto, the average realtor did just under three transactions, I believe, in 2022. Uh, for context, our team did over 100 sale transactions last year, but it wasn't just me, right? Like if I was running around like that, I would burn out and have absolutely no life. So you definitely need support as well. Uh, we also have to pay licensing fees and insurance and yada, yada, yada. I'm not going to bore you with that stuff. And they say here that the real estate brokerages usually takes 30% of the commission from the real estate agent. And that's going to vary depending on where you hang your hat. If you go to brokerage with full service or one that doesn't do anything, but you have to cover all the costs. So that can be changed over time, but I'll go over what it actually costs to bring a property to the market. And the final thing is that buyer agents usually make more per transaction than listing agents. This is 100 percent true. However, buyers agents are working more time. They're out there on the ground level on the streets more where listing agents don't have to go to the property each time a showing happens. So there you go. The average realtor in Canada is making under $50,000 a year. That might be surprising to some people, but let's be totally transparent about this. The people at the top of the industry are making very, very good money and many of them over seven figures per year. But seven figures earned in terms of gross income is not what you're actually netting. And then obviously you pay taxes, right? 
And that's the problem with the real estate industry is that we have awards. It doesn't matter what brand that you end up working for, that your realtor works for. We have awards and it's all based on the gross amount of money that you earn. But you make a million dollars a year and spend $980,000 a year to make that million dollars. Well, congratulations, you now have a business that doesn't actually make any money. So let's talk a little bit more per transaction in Canada, what agents are making. So this data here is based on 2021 for the average uh, sale price being 677,000 in Canada. It's probably lower than that now, maybe 625-ish or something like that. But they're saying based on that, at a overall commission of 5%, where two and a half goes to each side of the transaction, that the average agent will earn $16,944 per transaction. But then they go on to say that the agent only keeps about 70% of this, so it's a net commission of $11,860. So even if there are some brokerage that don't charge 30% on the split because they're not full service and only take 5% or 10% or something like that, um, I know for me, my cost to bring a property to the market in the Toronto market is about $5,500 per listing. So that's what's cost me just to get it onto MLS. Now that's including staging, which is probably 80% of the cost, then online marketing, professional photography, you know, all the marketing materials that we print out, that costs money as well. And I think the difference between agents that do a lot of business and those that don't is the ones that do a lot of business are investing heavily into their clients' properties because then it's a win-win for everybody. Now, the final thing that I wanna talk about is per province how many realtors are currently licensed and what's the average commission per province? Because as we know, BC and Ontario are pulling up the numbers for everything, whether that be average home price or average commission or things like that, right? So let's jump in and see how it's broken down. So we start at the top, Newfoundland, 700 total agents, just over 8,400 properties that sell. The average agent's doing 24 transactions per year at an average of $5,000 per deal. BC, you got 23,000 agents, tons of transactions happening, over 100,000. That averages to 11 transactions per person, an average commission of 9,000. Now, I'm going to jump down here to Ontario. There is 79,000 people licensed in Ontario. I would assume that number's gone up since this chart came out. Over 300,000 transactions that happen. In Ontario, the average realtor is doing eight transactions at an average commission of $15,000. Now, these numbers are taking into account the 30% that comes off the top, whether that's because you're at a high fee brokerage or because you're spending thousands of dollars on marketing the property before it actually hits the market. The final thing I wanted to show you is the average income for a real estate agent across Canada. You would automatically think that you know, BC and Ontario, the agents make the most amount of money, but because there are so many agents and so much competition, it's not actually true. So I wish I had known this when I started my career, I would have gone to Newfoundland, right? The high is about 200,000, the median is 61,000, which is higher than any other province in Canada. Hope you enjoyed that video. The next video I'm gonna put out is gonna be looking over the May statistics for the Toronto real estate market. We're gonna break down everything and show you what is going on because we've started finally to have a little bit of an uptick in inventory. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Tom Story and remember, home is where your story begins.